Hi, I'm Jen Nectarlein, College and Career Counselor at Hunter and Central Regional High School. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of Naviance, our college and career planning software that we use for all students. Our students are acquainted with Naviance in the winter of their freshman year. All ninth grade students get a Naviance account, and with their counselors, they're taught how to use this college and career planning software. Let's take a look at the program. This is the homepage of Naviance. When students log in, they'll see a lot of information, such as news updates, a link to their college and career lists, and lots of other information to help them stay organized. When we introduce students to Naviance, we take them through these categories in the upper right corner. We'll start by clicking on the About Me section. This is where students can store information about themselves, such as their GPA and test scores, along with a resume builder and various surveys. We'll start by clicking on this resume builder. We show this feature to a lot of students to encourage them to use it as a place to store the various activities they do, both in and out of school. As you can see, students can add work experience, volunteer service, and different clubs that they belong to. At the end, this resume builder will produce a full PDF resume for students to use as part of their college applications. Also in this About Me section, students will find a place to store their standardized test scores, their college and career lists, and a place to take various surveys that we will ask students to take in relation to college and career planning. Let's explore this feature called Explore Careers and Clusters. Students can type in any career that they're interested in to learn more about it. For example, if they type in education, they'll get all kinds of opportunities related to education, such as teaching and administration. When a student clicks on one of these fields, they can get information about the career, such as an overview and job description, the knowledge and skills that are required in that career, the tasks and activities of that job, and the current wages based on state. If a student has interest in this career, they can click on this little heart icon and it will add that to their favorite list. Back in the main career section, students can continue by taking assessments, such as the Career Interest Profiler to better determine which careers match their interests. The Career Interest Profiler is based on the John Holland Career Theory that you should be in a career that fits your interests. If students are interested in taking this assessment, they should give themselves about 30 minutes to do so. The questions ask things like whether or not you'd be interested in something like space travel, conducting an orchestra, or writing stories or articles for magazines. Students would simply click like, dislike or not sure. The assessment asks 180 questions and at the end students will receive results showing the careers that best match their interests. Students are encouraged to talk with their counselor about these career interest areas to better determine the majors that would fit them. Students are also encouraged to build a list of my favorite careers and clusters and use that information in conversation with their counselor, especially as they're building their schedule for each academic year. Students are encouraged to take classes that align with what they may want to study in college. The next section I'd like to show you is the Colleges section. This is the most popular feature of Naviance, and students at all grade levels can utilize the Colleges section to research schools and better understand their admission statistics for each institution. Our juniors and seniors will use this section often as they plan their college list and eventually, in senior year, submit important documents to colleges through Naviance eDocs. First, I'm going to take you down to this section called Find Your Fit, and we're going to click on Supermatch. Naviance offers a lot of different opportunities for students to search for colleges. There are thousands of schools in the Naviance database, but students can use different criteria such as location, major, student body size, cost, and admission criteria to determine if the school belongs on their list. You can see here a search was done and students have results such as American University, University of South Carolina, and Drexel. If these schools are interesting to a student, they should click this heart icon to add them to their list. Students are encouraged to build a college list in Naviance by clicking on Colleges I'm Thinking About. Students can add to this list, and as you can see, this is an example list with colleges already added. Schools such as University of Delaware, Drexel University, High Point University. Students can utilize this list to keep them organized through the college search and planning process. I'm going to click on the first school, University of Delaware, to show you the various features that Naviance offers for each school. This is the University of Delaware page in Naviance, and as you can see, the heart icon is filled in because it's on my list. 
you can also access University of Delaware's main website by clicking right here. Here in Naviance, there are a lot of features, such as an overview with videos and photos, studies, which shows students information about the academic opportunities available at the school, student life, which provides out-of-classroom opportunities and experiences for students to research, admissions, which we'll get back to in just a moment, and costs. When students are using Naviance, they're typically clicking here in the admissions section. This is where students can best determine their academic profile in comparison to students from Hunterdon Central who have also been admitted. If you scroll down to the middle of the page, you can see three recent years of history for Hunterdon Central and the University of Delaware. For example, in 2018, 141 students from Hunterdon Central applied to the University of Delaware. 62 of those students were admitted, and 9 of those students chose to enroll at the University of Delaware. This information is provided for the last three years. And keep in mind, this is just for 100 and central students. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will see a scatter gram. This is showing you a graph of all of the students who've applied to, to University of Delaware from 100 and central over the last three years. The key below this scatter gram shows you what each of the symbols mean. The green check marks are showing you students who've been admitted to the University of Delaware. If you hover over the place where both points meet, you will get a better idea of the average student from Hunter and Central who is admitted to Delaware and what their academic profile look like. For example, the average student who is admitted to University of Delaware from Hunter and Central has an SAT score of 1300 out of 1600 and a weighted GPA of 3.72. But you can see it is just an average. Students below that and above that received various results in the admission process. But this will help students better determine what type of academic profile they may want to aim for when considering a college. Back in this colleges section, you can see that there is also a scholarship feature where students can find scholarships that match their criteria and also browse a list of scholarships that Hunter and Central counselors keep updated throughout the year. I hope this brief overview showed you some of the features available in Naviance. Remember, features are stored in these three main categories, about me, careers, and colleges, and almost everything we went over can be linked right here on the homepage. There are many features available in Naviance. If you have any questions about the features shown today, scroll to the bottom of the homepage, look at the lower left corner, and you will see Contact Counselor. This is a direct link to email your student's counselor. I hope you enjoyed taking this tour of Naviance. Naviance is available to all students and parents may also request an account through their counselor. You can access Naviance anytime from the Hunter and Central website. And if you have questions, please reach out to your child's counselor.